I'm fortunate to have good friends on both sides of the aisle, something that's much too rare in Washington today. After all of these years, my passion for service to our fellow citizens is undiminished, but my desire to do so by serving in Congress has waned. For some time, I've had a growing conviction that Congress is not operating as it should. There is much too much partisanship and not enough progress, too much narrow ideology and not enough practical problem solving. Even at a time of enormous national challenge, the people's business is not getting done. All of this and much more has led me to believe that there are better ways to serve my fellow citizens, my beloved state, and our nation than continued service in Congress. To put it in words I think most people can understand, I love working for the people of Indiana. I love helping our citizens make the most of their lives, but I do not love Congress. I will not, therefore, be a candidate for re-election to the United States Senate this November. My decision should not be interpreted for more than it is, a very difficult, deeply personal one. I am an executive at heart. I value my independence. I am not motivated by strident partisanship or ideology. These traits may be useful in many walks of life, but unfortunately they are not highly valued in Congress. My decision was not motivated by political concern. Even in the current challenging political environment, I am confident in my prospects for re-election. Five times over the last 24 years, I have been honored by the people of Indiana with electoral success. But running for the sake of winning an election, just to remain in public office, is not good enough. And it has never been what has motivated me. At this time, I simply believe that I can best contribute to society in another way, creating jobs by helping to grow a business, helping guide an institution of higher learning to educate our children, or helping run a worthy, charitable, or philanthropic endeavor.